everybody and welcome to the channel. It's me, guys, and I'm I'm here, guys, uh, because I want to know what the actor Mark Wahlberg eats in a day. Check it out. He said everything Mark Wahlberg eats in a day. This is by Men's Health. This is like a Men's Health review that we're gonna look at. So I'm very, uh, we're very curious about Mark. Um, at first, guys, I'll be honest. At the very beginning, uh, I was not a fan, a big fan of Mark Wahlberg. Uh, let's say I didn't notice. I didn't notice Mark Wahlberg until he was in Transformer. When he was in Transformer, that's when I get to notice a little more of Mark Wahlberg. But I get to see him in other movies like the perfect storm and all the movies, but it, well, for some reason it didn't catch my attention until I saw him in Transformer. So let's go ahead guys and check on Mark Warber and what he eats every day and what he put on his body. All right, one, two, three. If I was actually smart, I would have listened to the people that told me how to do things right a long time ago, but I was hard-headed and thought I knew everything like most people I talk to nowadays when I try to give them advice about eating right, recovering, and training properly. Oh, he hit the gym also. Hey, I'm Mark Wahlberg, and today I'm going to show you what my diet looks like. I got up. I take my vitamins, I drink my water, I have a little zinc, dissolvable zinc tablet, and then I have a triple espresso. I'll have my coffee, go in the cold plunge, come out, and then I'll have my creatine and my branch chain aminos while I'm working out. After the workout, about 45 minutes after the workout this morning, I had five eggs, I had two hard boiled right. eggs and three scrambled eggs. I had a pork chop, which is a little bit of salt and pepper on it. I had a wild smoked salmon, some Greek yogurt, and berries, and then green I juice. had a uh, green juice moringa. with uh, moringa. That was moringa. at eight o'clock in the morning. At 11 o'clock, I had chicken breast, chicken thigh, sweet potato, broccoli, a bowl of fruit, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, and then I had a handful of pistachios, and I had a handful of almonds. And then I just had, at two o'clock, I had uh, salmon sashimi, crab salad with a little cucumber, and. Hold on, hold on, man. This sounds too delicious for me. He's opening my appetite in an amazing way. So, he got coffee. He got coffee. He got pork chops in the morning. I'm starting to get to, I'm starting to get used to this guy. To see celebrities eating heavy in the morning. Remember the rock is one. Well, but I, I thought the rock, because he's also a bodybuilder, a wrestler bodybuilder, he will eat also steak and fish in the morning. Well, Mark Warburg also in the morning also he eats steak, he eats pork chop. So I'm get, I'm starting to get used to this guy. Maybe I'll and start to do it too. Breast. And tonight right. I'll have a nice steak, some sea bass or halibut, and halibut. something and a vegetable. I just try to eat as clean as possible. Uh -huh. I've had the worst eating habits. And I do wanna, let's have a little disclaimer here. If I explain my schedule or my eating habit, let's not let your imagination run wild. And last time I did this, it got out of hand. And people thought I took an hour and a half long shower. And I've changed my philosophy quite a bit. If I was actually smart, I would have listened to the people that told me how to do things right a long time ago, but I was hard headed and thought I knew everything. Like most people I talk to nowadays, when I try to give them advice, advice about eating right, recovering, and training properly. It's sad that it took me until I was 52 years old to figure it out. If only I would have done this long ago, I think I'd have had another nice little 15 year run at doing more physical movies. I'm actually training smart now, so I'll do upper body, lower body, three days on, day off, two days on, day off. I'm putting as much emphasis now on rest and recovery as I am like time under tension and, and intensive training. I learned the hard way. I was training seven days a wow. week, two times a yeah. day and eating eight meals a day. I couldn't digest the protein I was eating. I was doing it all wrong. Then I started fasting and I was like, well, I don't have to do cardio twice a day if I'm fasting or I'm just eating the right amount of protein and eating at the right times. Everything for me was so extreme. So now, like I said, I finally figured it out at 50 something years old. Don't wait until you're 50 to figure it out, okay? Do it in your teens and your 20s.
You know what? I was on the cleanest program and regimen going down to do Arthur. I was cycling and doing lots of stuff, training and preparing to hopefully look like an adventure racer months in advance. And first day of shooting, I tore my meniscus. And the only thing that was giving me any comfort was a really tall, ice cold jumbo oh, beer yeah. at the end of the oh day. My so my diet went out the window ah. after the first right. day. And I don't take like, any type of pain medication or anything. I couldn't get the surgery, so I was just like, all right. At the end of a long, hard day of sweating in the jungle, the best remedy for me was a couple of cold jumbos. Well, I would say this is one of the most physically demanding roles. I mean, this lone survivor, the fighter, I mean, these are pretty daunting physically, but you know, those are the kind of roles that I gravitate towards. As an extreme athlete, nobody goes harder at it than, than adventure racers. It's, it's, it's pretty incredible the kind of shape that they're in and the, and the things oh, that yeah, they go the through, BMX what they have to endure throughout movie. these races, Never mind what they do to prepare for a race. It's just become such a routine for me now. Eating right, exercising, I feel good. So it's something really that I look forward to. You know, there are days where you get in there you don't really feel like you wanna do it, but by the time I've gotten out of that cold plunge, uh, I'm ready to go. Now that I've been focusing on rest and recovery, I, I don't feel like it's as laboring as it used to be. Oh, breakfast, bacon, oh, yeah, me pancakes. Too. Sausage, maple syrup. I love the smell smell of breakfast. Syrup. Get a hug and a kiss before school, and they smell like maple syrup. Maple syrup feeling. Pretty good. As long as I do the cheat meal right this time, because what I'm thinking about is like, okay, I gotta have either some tequila and I'll have chocolate and I'll have some other dessert and, you know, five different kinds of pasta after not having anything and eating clean. And then I wonder why I don't feel good the next day. Oh my God, my favorite, oh, my favorite. Yeah, I like chicken pot pie, a Thanksgiving dinner, mashed potatoes, stuffing, gravy. Sometimes I'll walk around in the bakery section and just look and think about all the things that I would want to eat. But then I know if I took one of each and ate them, I would probably not feel so good after. I'm Mark Wahlberg, and that's what my diet looks like. Boring and so repetitive. Boring, but thank good. you for your time. We have a very good diet, as a matter of fact. Not too much junk food, but what I notice about his diet he don't do too much of a junk food. I didn't see anything like burgers or french fries or too much of that. Didn't, I didn't get to see too much of that like other celebrity that I have seen that, you know, uh, he don't do too much of a cheat. He don't do too many cheat days. I, but I think also guys normal to do a cheat one or two days to do cheat days, you know, at least one day a week, I think, okay. Otherwise the cravings, the craving gonna be so, so, so big. So it's good. I have seen already that, that you should have your diet, your regular diet, your food, your exercise plan. But at least, uh, at least I think I would prefer maybe, maybe let's say a Saturday, that you do your cheat day from Saturday or Sunday, take a cheat day to recover. All right, eat all you want. <laughs> Indulge in your thing that I usually don't eat too much and then get back to workout, get back to the diet plan on Monday again. I think this is pretty good. He got very well, he's a very well balanced guy. And then I think also, I think also he's enjoying uh, he enjoys what he do, it's, it's part and he feels good. I mean, I think it's the, the best of all this is you find what's best for you, how comfortable you feel, how comfortable you feel with your, uh, with your exercise plan, your diet plan, you feel comfortable to it, just start, uh, you know, start, stop to it, just stop to it, that's it. All right, guys, hope you like it, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.